Hello and welcome back to Star Citizen where I'm actually testing out the Saber right now because the Saber has issues but let me just uh, give you a brief impression of it from the outside. It's actually kind of nice, it's sort of Delta wing like design. I really like it. It's kind of neat. The wings on the far outside can actually also um, retract when you land, when you land so that's it's, it's, it's kind of nice. Though it does have some serious issues right about now, so um, we'll definitely talk about that later. Well, let's just talk about that right now, I guess. The main issue that the ship has, which uh, is really a big issue, is um, the, sh the shield that it has has no protection against splash damage whatsoever. You might think, oh, that's that's that, that's not so bad. What's what does splash damage do anyway? Complete. Yes, however, most rockets and all that stuff do actually have splash damage and even if you use your, your countermeasures against them, then they'll explode near to you, though not in your ship, uh, hopefully. But um, if your shield uh, has, has really no protection against splash damage what, whatsoever, um, basically your entire ship gets the full damage uh, whenever something's exploding near to you. And combine that with a sort of weak structure and um, you'll often find yourself in, in the situation where your shields haven't been even dented but uh, for some reason you're, you're losing subsystems left right and center which is um, weird so so much about that as a result this this ship is almost unplayable in Vandal Swarm because uh, at some point the Vandal will start using missiles and you can't really do much uh, against that Assuming those issues are addressed and fixed at some point, uh, it's actually a pretty in interesting ship because um, compared to the sort of armament that it can bring, I didn't modify it this this time because there was a small patch and it sort of uh, reverted to the default loadout. But basically you, you can fix like uh, four class three weapons onto it, which is pretty nice compared to how, how maneuverable and fast this ship is. So it, it, it doesn't have quite the armament that the Hornet has, it also doesn't have the structure that the Hornet has, but if you just try and get somewhere and try to bring a pretty big amount of armament uh, to bear on, on the enemy, it's actually, it's actually a pretty decent ship. So, um, yeah, it's actually kind of nice light superiority fighter, in a sense. Before I go, to, go out, let me actually just uh, zoom in a little bit and check if there's any movement going on. No, apparently not. Good, then let's get out. It's only a one-seater, so and uh, as with most one-seaters that are not uh, origin ships, uh, you just exit them by ejecting out of your out of your seat, which uh, shortens up the time you take. Oh, that's okay. Actually, I have a big ballistic rifle for uh, because I uh, dropped by. Um, what was the name of the station again? I always forgot what the name of the station is. Uh, Security Post Carrier. Yes, I think that was it. I dropped by there in order to try some things out. Because I was mean. I actually disabled one of the communication satellites. And after doing that, I even sh shot some shot some players down. So I got some sort of... Um, well... As I was starting to say, because I was sort of behaving like a, a criminal at least a little bit by, by basically shutting down the, the, communi the communication satellite and then even uh, shooting people down, I gained some of the criminal stats. I forgot what they actually called that and I don't think I can actually see it here. Crime set. Yeah, they just call it crime set for now. I don't think it's a final uh, wording of how that, that will be called. Out before notoriety or something like that. But uh, anyway, I digress. Because of this, I basically also got a rifle there. Because when you're at security post carrier and you make it out, then you should bring a rifle. Because, well, 
because they're just lying around there, right? So, now I did that. So let's actually go to comrades again. Is there anything actually? No, there's no comrade down, so I can basically take my pick. Shields up. And who I'm gonna, gonna go for? Let's go one to, one to six again. I'm trying at least. They're all sort of clustered together. They made some modifications with 2.2 where all the waypoints are. Basically, the mission waypoints are much <laughs> further out than the Issue. stations are, which um, which uh, sort of limits the amount of trips you you can take without uh, without going to Cry Astro. I actually just went to, to to Cry Astro just before I started recording so that I have full quantum fuel. And now the game breaks down. That's fun. Time out! Okay, okay, time out! Time out has been called, okay. Well, that's... <coughs> that's... that's something. Um, let me actually stop this recording here for a sec and I'll see you right back in a different instance. I don't think you're interested in seeing the loading screen, so I'll be right back. Hello and welcome back. Uh, let's... Uh, now we're in a different instance and... There's a lot of... Uh, there's a lot of... Um, communication satellites that are actually repairable right now. Although I would actually try to try to not do that, but uh, show a little bit of the lawless side of things. But I'm uh, not sure because... But I'm not really sure uh, if that's actually feasible here because um, there seem to be other people. And also my modifications seem to have been ignored. Uh, thanks, I guess. Should have done it via Holo Explorer. My bad. My bad for trusting the uh, hangar ho holo table. My mistake. Uh, all right. So, I wanted to uh, slightly inc uh, improve the equipment available here, but uh, well, that didn't work out. Anyway, so now it's only two arrays. So let's actually go to one of the common arrays that should be. That need to be restored and try to shoot down players. Yes, I, I, I say this very, very casually, I know. I, f I, f I feel bad about it. Maybe it would even be better to... Well, there's actually pirates here. Pirates are somewhat of a more rare side now and they seem to be even less capable than they were before, so... It's a little bit weird. Because for, for, for some reason they sometimes just float around really doing nothing. So that's that. Okay. That was very dramatic, but no, no no reason to go all in there, music. Okay, I actually don't want to restore the uplink. I actually want to demonstrate the other side, which is... Um, which is um, taking them down and uh, see what happens then. So let's actually go to 556. See what's going on here. I was just going here in case a player would be here, because then I could have been a real meanie and uh, try to shoot someone down. So as you see here, here's really nothing going on. There's no, there should be no pirates here. There should be no players here. For some reason, there's also um, no no Crusader security here anymore, which is also is a uh, change that they didn't talk too much about because there's no no one guarding these. So it's weird. Anyhow, let's slow down. I'll actually, land here. Scope is still clear. Let's go out. Go. No, I was maybe a little bit too fast. Not sure if, if you can actually die from collisions in in the in the suit. Or at least get damaged. I mean, you can get damaged by fall damage. That that, that was already implemented, but uh, 
if you go for real top speed with these suits nowadays, you can you could actually just uh, bump your head into something and you should get injured. So normally the uplink would be offline, now it's online. If I press use here again, then it shuts down. So let's do that. So now we're a bad person, which, uh, where did my ship go? Should be right outside here, but uh, I don't see, I, I don't get a symbol. Was it on the other side? Did I get in by the other side? Let's, let's hope I did. Oh, okay, I did get in on the other side. Okay! My bad. So now we got Crimestat, which uh, is a terrible name, as I already mentioned. But um, I'm not sure if that's already enabled right now, but basically every other player would will um, will normally uh, not, not recognize us as a potential friendly, but as a potential adversary so will be automatically read to anybody who we just met which makes stuff a little bit more fun we can reduce our crime stat by going to um not to where but by going to um God, what was the name again security post carrier right uh by going there if we do that, then we can just erase our, our, our crime stat by remaining near the terminal for a few seconds. Or I could just uh, go and uh, try to deactivate even more uh, communication satellites. I don't really know which satellites are on and which are offline anymore, because I... Because I'm now a bad guy. You always knew it, but uh, now I'm officially a bad guy. Another thing that might be interesting for this ship actually is that it's supposed to be stealthier than most other ships, so that is its uh, signatures should be not too much, uh, sh should be non-noticeable from, from far away. I'm not really convinced if that actually works, because even if I sh Shield. even if I... Offline. Shields recharging. Engines. Weapon system. System. Offline. Because even if I basically shut down all of my Shield. systems, System. my EM stat Offline. is still pretty high. I mean, because I'm not moving, I, I, I probably don't have a heat stat right now, but I'm not sure how good this stealthy would be to just wait here and try to and try to engage someone as soon as they get here. So I'm actually gonna just activate Active. everything again. But in theory, you could do this to do some sort of surprise sneak attacks by l laying in wait near near the deactivated station and then engaging someone who's not expecting it. Yeah, that's, that could be a thing. I'm not really sure how feasible that is right now, but I might do some investigations into that off screen, but uh, I do somewhat doubt its feasibility. Also, it's a little bit weird that they actually designed the ship because for a stealthy fighter there was already a Hornet variant that basically tried to do something similar, which was basically worse than a regular Hornet and everything, but was supposed to be stealthy, what, whatever that means. So, not really sure. I mean, this ship also has a much better man maneuverability than a Hornet. Yeah, the, the Hornet is, compared to this, the Hornet is pretty much a Rhino or whatever. Uh, this actually handles pretty nice, so there's that. Anyway, let's uh, try to um, let go of my of my um, crime stat, or do I disable another comrade just for the funsies? I think I just uh, try to reduce my um, crime stat. Whoops. Cotton travel. And I mentioned you need to go to security post carrier for this. Fixing your crime set problem. Hey, I saw you just pop on the crime set port. Real pain, right? Complete. Yeah. What's going on here? There's some people here for some reason. Maybe they want to kill us on approach or something. Not sure. One, one of them is actually facing me, so let's see what happens there. Firing? No firing. So far, no firing. Crazy. Well, someone is firing, but uh, that actually shooting me. 
Under fire. I don't, I, I'm shield recharge. Starboard All right. shield under fire. Whoa, that was that was an interesting way of collision. Shields recharge. Missile blocked. I feel like I'm being engaged by two guys right now, for some reason. Yeah, I'm actually being engaged by two guys, thank you. I'm out of here. They were not shooting each each other before I got there, so I know Contact. when I'm uh, set up. What's that here? There's actually Crusader security around here for some reason. Huh. Interesting. What happens if I disable the satellite while the Crusader security is around? Will they try to shoot me down? I really need to figure that out, so... Um, are they actually shooting me? They actually are. Okay. Good. So let's fight Crusader security instead. Whoa. Well, pretty effective weapons, apparently. Interesting. Only Crusader security though. Shields recharging. Well, I was engaging someone, but apparently his shields are already back up. Not too bad. Uh. Yeah, there are like three people. In Avengers, which are not the worst uh, interceptor type ships. Oops. Still alive. Tough bastards. Oh, did I lose my, lose my engine? No, I did not. Huh? Strange. Okay. Well, something something weird happened, but then the game decided to no, you're not you're not completely down yet. Shield. Shield. Oh, my shields are down completely. What the freaking hell? He's also almost down. Now it's only you and me, pal. If you think you're the law here, I am the law. Sometimes. Shields reach out. That's that probably the reason for why they sometimes behave ir irrationally with the damage they do because particle weapons can just shoot right through your shield. Should consider myself lucky that I'm still alive. Actually. Whoops. 
pistol. Lock. Nice. Nice to see you. <sighs> All right. So now we sort of um, promoted from being a bad person to I, I want to say a really bad person, but the game just decided to oh no you you haven't done anything unlawful in the last minutes other than shooting down uh, Crusader security forces, so we're now in the neutral zone again for some reason. Yes, I'm not really sure. I, 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 I think the game should give me more time to do something evil again before dropping my wanted level. Uh, that's probably also would be a decent name for this. So, yeah, I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, now that I'm neutral again, I could actually repair stuff again. I still have the reduced crime set quest, though I technically don't need it. Anyway, I'm not gonna do this right here. I'll probably go back and repair my ship and then uh, fly around some more and test out the new crime system to generate some feedback for the forums and stuff. But uh, I'll do that off screen and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.